Okay, so here we are again. We've got our basic Allegro code. Um, and as you can see, it's not working. Yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> just in case people need to see this again, I wanted to throw this in here. I won't throw this in videos anymore after this. So I'm going to go to manage NuGet packages. Remember that from the last video? Browse Allegro. That's thinking about it. <clears throat> so, what this is here is this is just that basic start up starting code that I showed you in the very first video. So we're just gonna mess with this a little bit. So if we're gonna be drawing, um, let's just double check that works. Maybe it's not installed yet. Hold on. Um, So what we're going to do is we're going to, what did the, what did the daily code today say? Uh, circles? Okay. I'll be honest with you. I don't have um, all of the Allegro functions memorized, so I just kind of look stuff up as I go a lot of times. So let's say Allegro, we're going to have to draw some circles, right? Allegro draw circle. Let's see what the internet says about this. Oh, look at this. We've got two functions, AL draw circle and AL draw filled circle. Okay. Um, and there it is. We don't need this void right here because, um, oops, we're just going to, we're not writing it, we're just going to be calling it. They put that void in there because it's saying that this thing doesn't return anything when it's done. So let's try plopping that in our code and it's not going to work right away. Um, it does need to go before the flip display, because remember, this is what draws it to memory, or sorry, draws it to the screen from memory. Um, let's see here, and CXCY, that's gonna be the center. So let's put this at maybe like, I don't know, 300, 300? What do you think float R is? Uh, how far it goes up? That's the radius. And you can hover over this and it should, maybe it won't tell us exactly. Um, oh, yeah, it's because we actually haven't imported this function. I'll tell you what I mean in a second. So let's make this like 50 wide. And then color, whenever it says Allegro color, it's talking about this thing, AL map R RGB. Um, okay, and this is going to be black, and we don't want black on black because it's going to be really hard to see. So you know how these colors work, red, green, blue? Mm -hmm. So if I do something like, I'm going to play RGB roulette here. Put in random numbers and see what it looks like. So this should be kind of like a purplish red. Okay, so as you can see, it's actually not very happy with us right now. That's because this function actually lives in kind of like a side library of Allegro. So depending on what parts of Allegro you're using, you're going to have to include some of its like helper libraries. Allegro 5, and I think this is going to be in primitives primitives.h, and then any time that you have one of these helper libraries for Allegro coming in, you need to have a, um, you need to have a function that like initializes it. Like this function here, the al in it, that initializes Allegro, but we're going to also have to initialize this, um, what is it? Um, I can't remember what it is. I'm sorry. Again, I don't have all this stuff memorized. So, um, primitives add-on. AL init primitives add-on. There it is right there. So, yeah, I don't expect you guys to memorize this stuff. I just expect you to be able to find it and then implement it. AL init primitives add-on. There we go. Yeah. And then the last thing you need to do, um, 
is you do need to go down into properties here where we have this new thing called Allegro 5 that popped up after you installed it. You need to go into add-ons. Um, and we just we just did the primitive add-ons, so we need to like turn that on. Okay. So let's see. <gasps> There it is. We might want to move it up a little bit. Okay. Um, to move this thing up, X, Y. That actually means, I know this is weird, but Y needs to, remember how it's flipped? So Y needs to be a little bit smaller then. There we go. Okay. And then as you draw more circles here of different colors, just be aware that they're going to be, they're going to draw in the order that you them in here. So if you put something here, it's going to draw over the one that, that's on the screen, which is great if it's smaller, but if you have a bigger one and then you put it there, it's going to draw over all your smaller ones so you won't be able to see it. So the order does matter that you draw them in. Okay? Does that kind of make sense how to deal with the shapes? Yeah.